In this question, we are going to calculate the work that we need in order to pump up water from a swimming pool. Here we have a circular swimming pool, and the diameter is 24 feet, and then the height of the swimming pool is 5 feet, the water level right here is 4 feet. And we are going to pump up all this water over the site. And first of all, we have to know what is work. To calculate work, we look at force times distance. And in many situations, to find the force, we just need to find the weight of the object that we are dealing with. And then, this is pretty much the usual style of doing these kind of questions, especially with water. What we do is, look at a picture instead of words. And then you are going to cut this into horizontal slices. And then first of all, you have to ask yourself, if you draw like a horizontal slices, such as this one that I just drew right here, what kind of shape do we have? Remember, this is a circular um, you know, cylinder. Pretty much, it's like a cylinder. And this little slice, it's going to be a what? It's going to be a disc. It's going to be, it looks like a CD like this, right? So it's circular, and it also got small thickness. So you kind of draw this kind of picture, and then to find out how heavy this slice of water weights, you look at the volume of this right here, and we are going to come up with a formula for that. And we multiply by the density of the water. And you just have to pay attention to the units. Here we're using feet, and then you have to just look at the water weight, and this is the weight density. 62.5 uh, pounds per cubic feet. You just have to multiply by that constant with the volume. That's pretty much the strategy. And then to find the volume, it's usually the hardest part in this kind of situation. All right, let's get to work. First of all, we have to look at, just focus on this disk, and then we are going to do some labeling. Here, this is just a small change of the height, right? And I'm just going to label the height right here dy, because I'm looking at this vertically. And then we need to know the radius of this disk. The whole diameter is 24. And this right here, and as you can see, this is a perfect cylinder. So the radius, it's always going to be 12. And that's very nice. So to find the volume of this disk right here, which is like the CD, what we do is just look at the area, which is pi r squared, and multiply by dy, and that will take care of it. That's exactly the volume for the cylinder, with a little small amount of uh, thickness. Okay, and I'll just put that down, and that will give us the volume. Pi is just a pi. Let me just write it down. Pi, and then the radius is twelve, and it's always twelve because if you're right here, it's twelve. If you're down here, it's still twelve because the whole water looks just like this much CD. All the radius of the CDs are 12. So that's really nice. So we have pi, and we multiply by 12, the radius, and then we raise that to a second power, and then the height of this little disk, which is dy. And that will take care of the volume. And then we also would like to multiply by the density. And once again, we'll just use this right here because we are talking about feet or foot uh, in this situation for the units. So we multiply by 62. 0.5, and that takes care of the weight of this slice of water. So you can ask, you can just imagine this yourself. This amount of water weighs this much. That's the idea. And the next thing that we do is we have to look at the distance. What's the distance that we have to travel in order to go from here out, right, of the swimming pool? And all this is based on your labeling. And then the um, limit of integration, it's also based on the labeling. This right here doesn't really require much labeling because the 12 is always the constant, right, for the radius. And dy is just a small change in the y-axis. But then I would like to put my reference frame this way. Then let's just have a convention to always do like right in the middle and then put it the most symmetrical part that you can uh, imagine. I would just like to look at, okay, this is going to be my x-axis. And then up here, it will be my y-axis. And that's why I chose the dy earlier. And then you have to just kind of see, because I put this as the x-axis, this is the y-axis, from here to here, this will be the y distance. From here to here, this will be the y distance. And then dy is supposed to be really small, so it doesn't really matter, because um, I just had to draw it big so we can see it. All right. 
So this disk is right here, wife distance above the x-axis. And you have to just ask yourself, I have to take this disk over the top of the swimming pool. What's the distance that we have to travel? You have to do some geometry. The whole thing right here is 5. This much right here is y. So from here all the way to the top, down here, right to the disk right here, this will be 5 minus y. And that's the distance that we have to travel. 5 minus y is the distance that we have to travel. From here, the position of the disk to the top of the swimming pool, 5 minus y. And we have to just multiply, let's just put it down right here, 5 minus y times the force, which is the weight. And this right here calculates the work that we need to pump out this disk of water out. And then you have so many disks right here, from down here up to uh, 4 feet height, right? So you, you can imagine, you have a lot of these kind of disks, right? So that's the integration part that we have to use. We are going to integrate. What's the first disk? The first disk is going to be all the way down the bottom, based on my labeling. And that will be the position at y equals to 0. How about what's the last disk? The last disk will be the very top right here. And that's when the y value to be 4. And this will take care of it. This is the work to pump out all the water um, from the swimming pool. And that's how you set up the integral. And then if you um, calculate this integral, um, you're going to end up with the answer 108,000 pi. If you want to multiply it pi or not, if you don't, that's the answer. But if you do, this is about 3392.007. And the unit for this situation is foot pound. As you can see, foot is for the distance unit, and then pound is pretty much the unit for the weight. And this right here will be it. That's, that's the answer right here.